The ministry started in 1970, and um, I have been at the home of this ministry since 1998. I have had the privilege of having lots of children go through this ministry, but the beauty of it has been the ability to bring these children in, keep them, watch them grow up, and then their children then come back. It's summer of 2021, and we've got our new class of seniors. Uh, this group is sweet and kind. They're a group of 12 that help each other, that support each other. They're precious. And so we did our civil rights pilgrimage. We started in Mississippi. We went through Alabama and we kind of saw it all. We saw the Civil Rights Museum in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. And then we also went into Montgomery, Alabama, and we were able to do um, just a whole lot of museums there. And then we got to spend the day in Selma with a foot soldier that was there on Bloody Sunday in 1965. This possumman was riding by on his horse and as we look back, he was beating this poor lady profusely with his billy club. We commenced to run on back to the church. And what do you think happened after he finished beating her? He chased us on horseback. We ran up the steps of this church. I didn't realize horses could climb like that. But the horse, he and the horse were on, ran up the steps of the, this church up to the porch. And we barely made it inside the church. We finished out our tour going to the Greyhound bus station and then going and seeing Dr. King's uh, Dexter Parsonage and then the Dexter Baptist Church. And then uh, we saw the Brick -a Day Church, the first Baptist church in Montgomery. I was taken from the bus station to the state prison. Being in the state prison, I was put on what you call death row. I couldn't imagine going to jail um, 110 times at 13 for entering a bus stop. He's a person to look up to. Yeah, like he, he was a great, he, he's a great role model. I find that very interesting because it's a lot of people that, you know, um, you know, when they go through things, they become what they grow, go through. And he actually is, you wouldn't look at him and the way he talks to you and everything. And think he, and think he yeah. This trip was like a great experience to me, like finding out like the different stories behind our history. I think it's cool because like, you don't find too many people that were alive back then anymore and getting to actually hear their stories in person and experience what they, well, not even experience what they went through, but getting to be in the environment that they were in was like a cool experience. I think it was in the Legacy Museum where we had sat and watched the videos of like the prisoners and whatever. And I just recently finished reading and watching Just Mercy. So I kind of knew all about that stuff and it was just empowering to see it. I'd say what stood out to me the most was the quotes. There is a lot of quotes about equality and making a change. And I really feel like that kind of touched base for me. And it just really had me thinking about, well, what can I do today to help make a change and help make a better life for myself and people around me? It was fascinating and kind of heartbreaking to see what they went through, but it makes you grateful for what you have. But it also lets you know that it's not over because things like police brutality and all that is still happening today. So it makes you want to fight for those who can't fight for themselves and fight for those who lost their lives fighting for us. It's very fascinating. It's kind of like amazing because I never really got the opportunity to know my civil rights like I do now. So now I could just, if somebody asks me a question about something, I could just say it, like, because I know it and because I saw it with my own eyes.